On behalf of my colleagues here, I'm delighted to welcome you all to our event today, discussing some of the innovative ways that leading organizations and new data sources are coming together to unlock greater city ambition in tackling the climate crisis. 24 months ago, we stepped up our own ambition in the climate arena, recognizing the urgency of the climate crisis and the need to dramatically reduce the world's carbon emissions. We formed a foundational partnership with the Global Covenant of Mayors for Climate and Energy. Together with GCOM, we launched the Environmental Insights Explorer in our first pilot cities in 2018. We're excited to dive into discussion with city leaders around some of the ways cities and organizations are embracing technology in this fight against climate change and using it as an important resource in the global green recovery. It's increasingly clear that no single organization or sector or government is going to be able to solve the climate challenge alone. And so when we started doing climate work in cities, it was really clear that in order for mayors to take action, they needed to first have the data and information on where they stood. And through the Global Covenant of Mayors, we provided thousands of cities with the information that they needed to get started on their transition to a low carbon economy. Can you tell us about how your city of Edmonton is working to incorporate real-time uh, decision-making into your day-to-day -day operations? We wanted to uh, unite an effort that really began around municipal efficiency and around democratic transparency and really apply not just the city's in-house data analytics expertise, but really engage and enable our public uh, with tools that will help us understand what we need to do uh, to meet our ambitious goals to reduce our emissions consistent with Canada's goals and commitments under the Paris Agreement uh, and in fact to go beyond that. We're looking closely right now at what it will take to get to uh, a carbon budget uh, for a 1.5 degree future and that's no small uh, task for a city like ours with uh, one of the highest carbon footprints in Canada. Uh, but we are seeing reductions now. Uh, we're 5.6% reduction in emissions per person in our most recent uh, data and a 26% reduction in energy use. So we're starting to make that turn. It's it's hard to do in a, in a northern city like this. Can you talk about the importance of this partnership that we have with Google? So we decided 10 years ago just to build 100% CO2 neutral city areas, new city areas, since 10 years. Uh, we have a mobility where 80% nearly of the people in our city, in my city, are using bike, go per pedestrian, or uses buses. So 80%, 20% are using cars. So we reach already a very high level of target, but we don't reach the Kyoto targets or the Paris Agreement targets. And that shows you there is still a long way. So we need more qualified data. I think that's very important uh, to focus more in the political debate on the right decisions because it's all about money. We really want to understand where cities are coming from. And so without, you know, rose colored glasses, because unfortunately we can't afford those during the times that we live in, um, GCOM has been very, very useful for us and really understanding what are the problems we are best suited to solve, where are the constraints, and who are we solving them for? So really being laser focused on making sure that this is a problem that is worth solving.